In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys five crystals you guys can put in your water to make your own crystal infused water at home. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave and that way you will never miss out on another video. I am extra nasally today than usual because I'm just getting over a cold and when I get a cold, my nostrils get inflamed and like it's very nasally so bear with me but in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys five crystals that you can put in your water to make your own crystal infused water and i'm going to share with you guys what each crystal does to your energy field when you consume it now before we get started you cannot put any crystal in your water because there are some crystals that are toxic that's why i decided to do five crystals that you could put in your water and if you guys want a part two i can give you guys five more crystals that are safe to put in your water but if you have a crystal and you are iffy or in doubt then just google it just google if it's safe to put in your water or not and go from there okay another disclaimer crystals come in big forms, tiny chips, small, tumbled, raw, whatever, right? So when you put your crystal in your water, please be careful because if it's a small chip and you're drinking your water and you could choke, so just be careful. I just had to throw that out there. So basically you can make your own crystal water at home. It's really, really easy. And I personally prefer this over the crystal water bottles. So basically this is what I do. I will just throw my crystals in my water and I like to use big chunks or like little chips. Um, but with the little chips, just be careful because they are little and you don't want to like choke on it or suck it like down your throat with a straw or something. Um, but this is so much easier, so much easier to clean. Holy shit, you guys, like those water bottles, as gorgeous as they are, I hated it. I hated it because I probably got like two or three uses out of it. And afterwards, like I am a very, very busy person. So I didn't have time to clean it. Like, sorry, I would rather do this. Okay, number one is the rose quartz crystal. So here I have a little rose quartz crystal in my hands and you can throw this in your water now before you throw any crystal in your water you want to make sure that you wash this what i like to do is run it under some water i don't know if you're supposed to do this or not but i like to do it i just take a little bit of dawn dish soap and i just kind of rub it over the stone just to cleanse if anybody touched it or whatever energy was on it i just get rid of it and um then i will throw it in my water and I will let my water sit for about 10 minutes before I just start drinking it. And then I'll refill it and drink it and refill it and drink it. And sometimes I even fill up my water tumblers and I keep it in the fridge and I keep the crystals in there. So I like to keep the rose quartz in there. Now, why is rose quartz a good crystal to keep in your water? This is an elixir that you want to make if you want to heal your heart. This is a very healing elixir for your heart chakra for wounds and past traumas and uh, past betrayals all of those things that you still might be carrying on forward to your new existing relationships and your life moving forward that you're having a hard time like dealing with rose quartz is really really good it's very healing it's compassionate it's loving if you want to attract love if you want to draw love into your life if you want to protect all the love in your life and enhance all the love in your life and just cultivate more love energy into your life. Put a rose quartz in your water and drink that. What I like to do right before I drop this into the water is I like to hold, I don't know if you guys can even see it, but I like to hold the crystal in my hands until my fingers get warm. Um, and if you have a bigger crystal, you can put it in your palm until your palms get warm. And then you infuse it with your intention. Like with this crystal, I wanna invite loving energy in all aspects of my life heal anything that needs to be healed, heal any blocks that are blocking me from prevent from moving forward, heal anything that is preventing me from experiencing the full potential of all the love in my life. Like that's a big one for me. And so I will infuse this. And basically it's already infused because I spoke it out loud. And then basically what you do is just you drop it in your water and you have your elixir right there. You let it sit for at least 10 minutes. This, putting a rose quartz in your water also attracts beauty and glamour. This is, this is believed to make your skin glow, make your skin look beautiful. It is believed that Cleopatra used to throw rose quartz in her water when she used to take baths. 
and it would just enhance her beauty and glamour. People just notice you more when you work with rose quartz crystals. So if you guys are interested in the little chips, I actually sell a little container filled with a bunch of rose quartz chips so you could use it for not only uh, enhancing your water but you could use it around your house you could use it around your photos of your loved ones to protect the love there's so many uses of the little chips so visit my store if you guys are interested the next crystal that you guys can put in your water is amethyst amethyst is a very good crystal if you are suffering from like issues with your mind if you're overstressed, over worried, anxious, depressed, sad, angry, insecure, like anything that has to do with your mind, amethyst is amazing for to calm and soothe the energies of your mind, to calm and soothe the overactive thoughts. This is a crystal that really helps to relax your energy. This is also a crystal to put in your water right before you go to sleep because amethyst helps you if you have insomnia, it helps you relax and calm down and calm those thoughts right before you go to sleep so that you could have a good night's sleep. Not only that, but it helps you eliminate and get rid of bad dreams and nightmares. By the way, my voice is getting super nasally as I'm talking, like I can hear it, I can feel it. Drinking water that is infused with amethyst crystals helps you to de-stress and calm down. This has very high vibrations of peace and protection. It brings harmony, balance, and bliss. And again, if you guys are interested in the little chips, you guys can head over to my store, or you guys can just get an, like an amethyst chunk from your local metaphysical store, um, and then you can just throw that in your water, make sure that you wash it before you do. And it's better to use tumbled crystals rather than raw crystals because raw crystals are sharp and they still probably have like shards or whatever in them. Um, so you just want to be careful with that. You want to use polished crystals more. I myself use the raw crystals, but that's just me. <laughs> The third crystal that you could infuse your water with is a clear quartz crystal. I don't know if you guys can see it. I have a little tiny one right here. You can use a tiny one. You could use a bigger one. But clear quartz is a crystal that amplifies your energy. So you have to be a little bit careful with this. So if you're feeling down or if you're feeling in a low vibrational state, just be a little bit careful of infusing your waters with clear quartz because it might just enhance those feelings. So clear quartz is something you want to work with to amplify your intentions, to amplify your good feelings. Like say you're feeling really good, you're excited, you're feeling amazing, so you got just you just got some good news, or you're just having a really good time. Carry the clear quartz with you to infuse that quartz with the energy of that moment, and that way when you are having a low vibrational moment that's when you take your clear quartz and you throw it in your water because it's infused with the energy of that moment where you were happy and you can just make your elixir infuse with that energy and in turn you can infuse your own energy with that elixir this is also a crystal that is very healing and it also connects you to your higher self this also strengthens your aura and it cleanses and activates your chakras now, I love to use clear quartz in this way. I like to use clear quartz in collaboration with another crystal because I think that clear quartz has this ability to amplify another crystal's properties so much. So in my water right here, I have a rose quartz and a labradorite, which we'll get to, but I like to drop a clear quartz in here too sometimes just to amplify that especially especially like especially if i'm having a bad day i will put a clear quartz in my water with another crystal because i want to amplify that good emotion that good energy into my life again um and so i'll use a clear quartz to do that the fourth stone you could keep in your water is a citrine crystal this crystal is known as the merchant's stone it's also known as the crystal of wealth and the crystal of happiness it attracts joy laughter health, positivity, and adventure. It has very, very high vibrations of abundance and success. And it's also known as the stone of manifestation. It brings about confidence and clear thinking. Citrine is very, very good for the third eye chakra. Now, this is a very powerful crystal for happiness and success especially. So if that's something that you're looking for, um, you can add this to your water. 
this is a crystal that I would use in my water all the time. I don't know. The only reason that it's not in my water glass right now is because my citrine crystal is on my altar. It is charging, so I don't have it in my water. But this is a crystal that I would have in my water all the time because of its vibrations, because of what it symbolizes, and because of what it attracts and brings into your life. It's nothing but good things. The fifth crystal that you could put in your water is called an obsidian crystal. This crystal has very, very high vibrations of protection, cleansing, and purifying. It's very, it's very strong in getting rid of negative energy. It's very grounding. And a, a reason that you want to ground yourself is because if you're not grounded, that means that the lower chakras of your body might be a little bit weak. And when you're, the lower chakras of your body are a little bit weaker, it's a little bit harder for you to manifest. It just puts you off balance. So you want to make sure that you ground those chakras and a really good way is to put an obsidian crystal in your water. This brings balance and it also removes energetic blocks. It clears your mind and it's also known as a stone of truth. It brings truth to your awareness. Truth to you regarding what you want in your life and what you need to let go of. It also reveals secrets from the universe. So it helps you just get more messages and more clarity and more guidance from the universe. You're more guided to follow your instincts, your inner voice and your intuition because you will trust it more because you're just going to know. You just you get more familiar with it, you get more connected with it, and that way you just know when you need to be listening to it. So it's very, very strong, very, very powerful, especially especially if you want to get rid of negative energy. Black Obsidian is going to be amazing to put in your water. All the crystals that I mentioned will be in my store, so if you guys are interested in buying from me, you guys can go ahead and do so, or you can go ahead to your local gem store. A metaphysical store and you might be able to find some crystals there uh, my crystals are always charged underneath the energy of the full moon along with other high vibrational crystals but it's always up to you thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want a part two because there are other crystals you could put in your water if you guys want a part two let me know and I will make that video for you guys thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you guys in my next one